I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately, you didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate. I mean, to fulfill those. So that's a no, right, Miss Heard? I am. I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. Even after the defamation case is over, Amber Heard's mountain of lies is getting exposed day after day, and it seems like she lied a lot while on the witness stand. And fans are not letting her off the hook so easily. The recent addition to her busted makeup story happened when she testified about the alleged attorney's fee she has to pay when Johnny Depp sued her. Well, guess what? This is also a lie. And she was thoroughly exposed for it. And who would have thought, there appears to be no secret in this world that can be kept hidden for long. In Amber's case, all her lies are getting dragged out under the rug one by one. So, how did Amber react to this? And will this get her in trouble for another possible perjury case? Let's find out. Apparently, Amber Heard and her team have more reasons to back up their twisted narrative. The most recent of them is to counter the very controversial $7 million divorce settlement that Amber failed to donate despite repeated interviews where she said she already gave the money to charity. To give you a recap, Amber tried to counter Camille's probing about the lies she made about the donations and testified under oath that she spent $6 million on attorney's fees alone, which is why she wasn't about to donate the divorce settlement. And have you completely fulfilled your donations to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital? I have not yet. Why not? And I have spent over $6 million. Objection, Your Honor. Remember, she had the money for 13 months before Johnny sued her, so this does not make sense. Of course, Vasquez was quick to object to this statement and they had a sidebar discussion. And have you completely fulfilled your donations to the ACLU and the uh, Children's Hospital? I have not yet. Why not? And I have spent over $6 million. Objection, Your Honor. I pledged the entirety. But you didn't charity. donate it. Unfortunately, you didn't donate it. It's a yes or no. I haven't been able to obligate, I mean, to fulfill those So that's a no, right, Ms. Heard? I, am, I made the pledge. I want to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued. You had all of the $7 million for 13 months before Mr. Depp sued you and you chose not to pay it to the charities you pledged it to. The objection was ultimately sustained and they were never able to testify about this again. But the damage was already done for Amber. Fast forward to the closing argument. Elaine Bredehoff tried to reinforce this argument and include it in her closing where no one could object to it. She once again repeated that her client spent the divorce settlement on paying her litigation and that she was left with no choice but to postpone the planned donation. In, in payments to them, but then she got sued here and hasn't been able to because she spent $6 million in attorney's fees. That is unrefuted. She still intends to pay those pledges, honor those pledges, and she said that throughout and I elicited from both the ACLU and from Children's Hospital they haven't expired she can pay them whenever she wants to and she fully intends to but she has to get out from under this first well, guess what? Amber didn't spend a single penny for an attorney's fee. Remember this woman, Pamela Johnson, who is the vice president of the insurance firm, Travelers Companies. She was spotted being with Amber in court during the trial, mainly because Heard has a homeowner's insurance policy covering her attorney's fee. Busted right? Because of this, Amber's statement about the $7 million divorce settlement and why she wasn't able to donate it was once again false and nothing but lies after lies. And yep, this can be grounds for another perjury case. And boy oh boy, Heard is in big trouble. This fan pointed out how Elaine might get in trouble as well, saying, Elaine Bredehoft, you had to have known your fees were paid by Amber Heard's insurance company, who was with Amber every day in court and in the private room. It is professional misconduct for a lawyer to engage in conduct involving dishonesty, fraud, deceit or misrepresentation. Another said that Elaine and Amber were a match made in heaven saying, the lies are endless. I say bring Elaine to court. She's as bad as Amber. She's actually a liar and she calls herself a lawyer. I say BS. Well, it seems like Amber's team needs to prepare for another trial before they can go after Johnny. How about you? Do you think Amber could get in trouble for this statement? Will she be charged with perjury as a result of this? Let us know in the comments below.